Hello kids! And today we're gonna learn how to count the numbers, the colors, the animals behind those letters, the alphabet, the fruits, the shapes, and everything else. Let's start! Oh, where did they go? We don't have any more numbers. We don't have alphabet, and we don't have shapes, and we don't have also our animals, and we need to find them, and we need to find them in those crayons. So we have colorful crayons, and the first crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the red one. Let's shake, and let's open, like this. Wow, so many things here. Okay, so maybe let's start with the fish. So here we have the fish that has number three, and it's a red fish. So where should we place? We have one, two, and three. Here's gonna be our fish. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle. And the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the number three. Look at this. This is the number three. And it's a red color. And where we should place? Let's count. One, two, and three. We should place it here. Great. And let's continue with the next one. And next one that we're gonna take, gonna be the letter D. Okay, and we need to find the letter D. So this is A for alligator. This is B letter, bear, this is cat, C, and this is D, duck. Great, let's place it here. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take, gonna be the letter M, great. And the letter M we need to find here. So let's look, is it cat? Is the first letter C is M? No, let's look around. Maybe H, no. Okay, so M is for monkey, great. And we should place it here, amazing. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take, gonna be the letter T. And let's look where we can place the letter T, where we can fit it. So we have, let's say octopus. And octopus starts with letter O, but O is not letter T, no. So let's look around. So what what animal we have for letter T? Tiger, yes, T, tiger. Great, well done. And the next that we're gonna take, gonna be the shape. And it's a violet color shape, right? And we need to find the fruit that represents the shape. Okay, so let's look where we can place it. Can we place here? No, it's an apple. Can we place maybe here? You see, here is the dragon fruit. And we can see that this is a shape that we can fit in. Great. And let's go with the next one shape. And here is the green shape. And green shape we can place maybe here because here is a watermelon okay like this great and let's take this and this is the symbol or how it's called the sign and it's called equal sign and it's used in a map so let's look around where we can put it and i can see that here is the minus sign here is the plus sign and here is the equal sign, great. And it's a red color. And let's look for the next one. And next one we have minus sign for subtraction. Okay, let's look where we can place. And there is a lot of place where we can do. Can we place maybe here? No, it doesn't fit here. It's too big for this space, okay. So here we have plus sign, here we have equal sign, and this is 
minus sign great and it's a red color amazing and the next one what we have is our earth it's where we live it's where humans live it's where the animals live so let's find the place okay hmm where it could be and i see that he it it is also the earth and this one also so it matches together so we can place it like this great let's continue with the next one and the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the green crayon so let's open great we have a lot of things here we have two fishes and numbers and animals so let's start with the fish and this is fish that has the number four so let's find where we can put it and let's go one two three and four great amazing and let's look at those numbers so this is number four and where we should place it yes one two three and four great amazing and the next one number that we're gonna take gonna be the number five and where we should put it let's count one two three four and five here great and we have here the number five so we're gonna place it right here after the number four great let's continue with our journey and the next that we're gonna solve gonna be the alphabet so here we have the letter e and we need to find the elephant so the first letter of the elephant is letter e eh, eh. so there is alligator bear cat duck and elephant and elephants are living in a savanna great and let's take the next letter and the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter j great and let's see where we can place this letter hmm and which animal represents that so i can see here is the giraffe but it's a g letter it's not j letter right so let's look here here we have the cute animal called jaguar great and let's place this letter here amazing and let's continue with the next one and next one letter that we have is letter u and it's a red color letter and let's see where we can put it hmm. can you see the place i can see here we have the unicorn unicorn and this is letter u so we can fit it here like this great and let's continue with our shapes so here we have the green shape okay and let's find the place where we can fit hmm you see there is the apple and this is matches our shape so it also have five sides okay great amazing let's take the next one and the next one we have yellow shape and let's see yellow shape represents the fruit called kiwi so let's find the kiwi can you see the kiwi yes it's here this is the kiwi and this is our yellow shape great amazing well done and let's see who we have here and here we have the elephant and look the elephant is smiling to us so let's find where we can put the elephant can you see on this board the elephant yes it's here here is the elephant and elephants they have the big ears okay great and let's continue and let's take the next crayon and the next crane that we're gonna take gonna be the yellow crane and let's shake it and open 
Wow, so many things we have here. We have letters, we have fish, we have shape. Great, let's start. So here we have the fish and it has the number two. Okay, and let's see where we can place it. So we have number one and here we have number two. And we can place it right here and it's an orange color. Great. And then let's look at this number. So this number is yellow color and it's number called one. And it always starts with the number one when we count. So when we say one, two, three. So it starts with number one here. Great, well done. So then let's take the letter S and let's see where we can place in our alphabet. Okay, so we have a lot of letters here. So letter S and we need to find the ship. Can you see the animal called ship? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. Great. Can, we can place here the letter S. And let's continue with next one letter. And the next one letter is letter Z. And we need to find the animal called zebra. Where the animal zebra? Yes, it's here. Great. Let's put it here. Amazing. And let's continue. The next one, we have the letter L. And L, we need to find the animal called lion. And you can see the lion is here. And lion, they are live in savannah. Great. And let's take the next one. And here is the C. And we pronounce it like k, k. So we need to find the cat, right? Where is the cat? Yes, the cat is here. C, cat. Great. And next, we have the shape. And this shape has basically five sides. So we need to find the shape which has the five sides like this, right? So let's find it. And we need to find the fruit called pomegranate. So, and it is here. Great, we can place the shape here. Amazing, and let's take this one. What we have here? Oh, we have here the alien in his spaceship. Great, and where we can see the alien on this board? Can you see the alien? Yes, it's here, great. And let's continue with the next crayon. And next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the pink crayon. Let's shake and open. Great, we have so many things here that we need to go through. But as always, let's go through the numbers. And the number here, we have fish and the number is seven. So let's find the number seven. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven. And here we can place our fish. Great, let's continue. Okay, and the next one is number that we're gonna be gonna be the number six. Great, and let's see where we can place the number six. So we have here the number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, and let's pick the next one. So what we have here is the number seven. Look, it's a number seven. And when we should place the number seven, can you see on the board where we should place? Yes, we have five, six, and seven. Correct, well done. And next one number that we have is number six. And the number six, we should place right after the number five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, we almost completed our number board. So let's continue with the letters. Which letter it is? Can you say this letter name? 
Yes, it's letter F. 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 So we need to find the animal called fox. Let's search where it could be. Can you see the fox? Yes, I know you could see it. It's here, F, fox, great. And let's continue with the next one letter. And next one letter we have is letter V, V, V. So we need to find the animal called vampire bat. Where you can see the vampire bat, can you see? Yes, it's here, right after the letter U, V, V, great, amazing. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we have is O. So we need to find the octopus. O, O. So it goes right after the N. O, here. Great. And let's go through the shapes. And here we have the shape that has the four sides. One, two, three, and four. And we need to find the pineapple on this board. Can you see the pineapple? Yes, it's here. So we can place our shape like that. Great. And the next one we have circle. Can you see the orange circle? And can you find the orange, the fruit called orange? Yes, the orange is here. So we could place our circle down here. Great. And let's look what we have here. We have F, fox. Remember, we just have the letter F that represented the fox. And here we have the fox. So where should we place the fox? Can you see? Yes, we should put it like this. Great. We step by step completing our puzzle. So let's continue. And the next crayon that we're gonna paint gonna be the blue crayon. So let's take and shape like this. And let's open. Great! We have so many things that we need to process and go through. So let's start with our fishes. And the fish that represents the number eight. Okay, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here is the word eight. So we can place our fish here. Great. And let's look at this number. This number is number eight. Great. And we just counted. So number eight goes right after the number seven, right here. Great. And let's look at this fish. This fish represents the number nine. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And let's take the number that called nine. This number is called nine. It's, and this number is a blue color. So let's put it here, like this, great. And let's take the next. So the next gonna be the letter G. And we need to find giraffe on this alphabet. Can you see the giraffe? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. So it's A, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, great. And let's take the next one. And the next one is W letter. It's called the W, right? So can you see the whale? Can you see the whale? Because the whale animal represents the letter W. Can you see it? Yes, it's here. We can put like this. Great. And let's take the next one letter. This is letter called P. P, P. So we need to find the penguin. Okay, can you see the penguin? Yes, I can see it. It's here. Great finding. You're doing amazing. So we put it here. And let's go with this. This is called the plus sign. And it's used in the math to add to the numbers. Right? 
So we need to find the sign where we can place it. And you can see it's really small. Here we have the minus sign, here we have equal sign, and here we have plus sign. Great, well done. And let's take the heart. So this is the heart shape, and we need to find where we can place it. And we need to find the strawberry. Can you see the strawberry? Yes, it's here. Here we have the heart shape and the strawberry. Great, well done. So let's take the rectangle. And where we place the rectangle, can you see? It's called a rectangle. It has the four sides. It has one, two, three, and four. And it's a pink color. Can you see? Here's also one side, two, three, and four. Great. And it's called square, right? Okay, and let's take the next one. And the next one, we have the dinosaur. And it's called the T-Rex. Okay, and where we can place the T-Rex? Yes, here is the place for the T-Rex. Great. And here we have another dinosaur. Can you see where we can place another dinosaur? Yes, it goes right here. Great. And we are only left with two crayons. We have the orange crayon and we have the brown crayon. So let's take the orange crayon, right? Let's take and shape like this. And what we have here? We have here the letters the numbers, the shapes, and the, also the sign, right? So let's go through. But let's start with the fish. So we have here the fish that represents the number one. And can you see the number one on this board? Can you see? Yes, here is the number one. And we can place our fish like this. Great. And let's take this number. This number is number two. And where we can place the number two? Can you see on this board? Here is the duck. And duck two, right? One, two. Great. We almost found all our numbers. And let's continue with the letters. And here we have the letter called A. And we need to find the alligator. And we pronounce this letter as A. Uh, uh. So let's find it. So here, can you see the alligator? Great, amazing. Let's place it. And let's pick the next one letter. And the next one letter, gonna be letter H. And can you see, where is the horse? Can you see the horse? Yes, I can see, here is the horse. And we can place this letter like this. Great, let's continue. And the next one, we have letter Q. And we need to find the animal called quail. Where is the quail? Can you see it? It's somewhere here. Yes, it's next to the rabbit. Here is the quail, Q, that represents the letter Q. Great, amazing finding. So, and the next letter that we have is letter X. And it's a green color letter. So we need to find the X-ray fish. Can you see the X-ray fish? Here it is, X-ray fish. Great, amazing. So let's take the next one. And this is the letter that we call I, right? And I goes right after the letter H. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I great. We almost found all our letters on this board. And we have another letter. It's called N. 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 So we need to find the narwhal. And where is the narwhal on this board? Let's see. Can you see? This is the narwhal. And this is the letter N, right? Great. Amazing. So let's take the shape. And here is the green color and it's called the star shape and where we can place the star shape 
We need to find the flower. Can you see the flower here? Here is the flower and here is the star shape. And we can put like, like this. Great. And what we have here? Oh, this is the fire truck that helps to prevent the fire with the water. And let's see where we can put this fire truck. Let's look. Can you see the place? Yes, this is the fire truck. So we can put like this. Great. Amazing. And the last crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the brown crayon. So it's gonna help us to complete our puzzle board. Okay. So we have here the fish. And fish represents the number 10. And where is the number 10 on this board? Can you see the number 10? Yes, it's here, number 10. So we can put this fish here. And let's take the number. So this is the number 10. Again, it's called the number 10. And it's a violet color. So we can place here. Great, we've completed all our numbers. And let's go through the letters. And the letter that we have here is letter K. K. And we need to find the koala. And where is the koala? Let's look. Can you see the koala? Yes, it's here, the koala. And it's letter K. Okay, great. And let's take the next letter. We have the letter B. And who represents that letter B? It's bear. And we have A and B, bear. So we can place this letter here. Great. And the next one letter that we have is letter R. And can you see on this board the rabbit? Can you see the rabbit? Yes, the rabbit, R, the rabbit. Great. Well done. And the last letter that we have is letter Y. And it's, and we need to find the yuck. Yuck, where is the yuck? Can you see? I know you can. Right, it's here, the yuck. Great, and it's a pink color letter. And the last shape that we have is a blue shape. And can you find the fruit called pear? Can you find? Yes, it's here. Great. And what we have here, let's turn around. And here we have a truck, truck, right? And we need to find the place for this shape, for the truck shape. Can you see the truck? Can you see the truck? Yes, it's here. Here is the truck and here is our shape. Great. We completed the wall puzzle game. Great. And we have those fishes and we have the numbers and we have the alphabet. So let's go through. We found all the numbers. We found number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And we found the symbols. We found the minus sign. We found the equal sign. And we found the plus sign. And let's go through the alphabet. So this is letter A. This is letter B. Letter C. Letter D. Letter E. Letter F. Letter G. Letter H. Letter I. Letter J, letter K, letter L, letter M, letter N, letter O, letter P, letter Q, letter R. And this letter, you know it, it's letter S. And this is letter T. And this one, U. And the next one, V. And the next one, W. And this, X. This one, Y, and the last one, Z. Amazing. And we also found different shapes. This is the green color. Green color shape. This one also green color shape. This one pink color shape. This one pink also color shape. And this one, you know, it's a green color shape. And it's a shape of the star. And this one, it's a blue color shape. And this one, it's a also blue color shape. And this color, you know it, 
it's it's a color called violet color and the next color it's called the yellow color and the next one orange color and the last it's a heart shape it's called red color shape right great and also we found the fire truck you see and it has the red color and the next is truck that helps people and the next one is alien sitting in his spaceship and how this is called you know it it's called earth that's where we live and this animal you know it it has the big ears it's called elephant and this one is fox fox great and this one we have the dinosaur great and the last one we have the dinosaur called t-rex amazing we've completed the whole puzzle marvelous i'm thrilled and excited that we've done so quickly and you've done such an amazing job congratulations you can clap see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe